Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at our continued series on design rule checks in SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic. And uh, if we go over to the uh, Project tab here and go to our Reporting section, you can see the Design Rule Check button. And uh, the report we're going to be taking a look at today is this Components Missing Part Assignment. Um, in the past you may have seen the component terminals not connected, which was checking for wires uh, hooked up to the symbols. In this case we're actually checking to see if we have a manufacturer part uh, associated associated to the component in the list, whether it be a line diagram or a schematic symbol, doesn't matter. Um, of course, this is critical if we'd like to go ahead and put it together, a uh, bill of materials, and order that part, or if we'd like to have a uh, specific model from SOLIDWORKS represented in the model. Um, so let's go ahead and generate this drawing here, and we'll just create it for our first book and say OK. And a new document appears here in the document pane. If we open this up, it says missing component reference as its title. And we can see the marks of components in our project that don't have a manufacturer part assigned to it. Um, so let's take a look at some of these. Um, we have our S5, our S7, a couple switches here, some B, uh, some sensors over here as well. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Let's look for S5. If we come into our components list here and utilize the search by right clicking at the top level, and we can put in S5. It's going to go ahead and find it. There it is in other conveyors. We can see here that there is a schematic symbol associated with this and uh, that this rotary button switch uh, appears to be wired up. So let's see what the problem is. If we go to it from within the search and double click on the symbol, we can see that there is no manufacturer assigned to this. So let's go ahead and search in the library. We'll look in our uh, Schneider Electric and look for a normally open descriptor. And we'll just pick one here at random that matches up with the circuit type. So we'll add that one and say OK. And now that we've got this manufacturer part assigned to it, if we go back to our missing component reference report and update it from the document list by right clicking and going to update design rules drawings, you'll notice that we have apparently lost one of our S uh, switches, that S5 disappears from the list. Let's take a look at another quick example. Uh, let's find this B3 component. Again, we'll just use our search. And we can see here that it appears in the list. And not only that, but it's actually wired up. And if we go to that symbol and double click on it, we appear to also have a manufacturer part associated to it. The problem is that its circuits aren't matching up. So what we can do to override that is go ahead and drag and drop on top of each other and say yes to override. And then we can delete our virtual circuit. Once we say OK to that, we can reassign the cable references that we lost. Simple right click and then go to Associate Cable Cores. We'll find that uh, W13 cable, it appears here. We'll first make sure that these are not associated to anything else. And then we'll grab our blue wire and the current wire that we have and associate them and say OK. And then repeat the process for the other side. With the cable now defined, uh, we can go back to our missing component reference here and watch as we uh, lose our B3 here from the list. And there it goes. So the design rule check is very powerful. It goes ahead and lets us know uh, whether or not any uh, there are any errors with the manufacturer part association to the component in our list. Uh, in this manner, the designer could come in and make sure that when it comes time to order these parts uh, on the bill of materials that everything is represented appropriately. Uh, for continued coverage of our design rule checks in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, check back to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.